Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to become a Discord Testers Bug Hunter. If you find this video helpful today, please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. To do this, what we're going to do is just come across to... Um, this this is actually the link for the server to get the invite and this is the first thing you need to do to actually get invited as a tester so you would just come across to discord.com forward slash invite forward slash discord and then a little hyphen dash and then testers and it's going to come up with this screen here and then what you need to do is click the blue continue to discord button all right so what's going to happen is it's actually going to beam uh, well as it says beam the information to your app uh the discord app um or you can continue to use the web-based version and then you're just going to get the invite come up like this so all you need to do is go ahead and click the blue join discord testers button that's just going to take a second to click through so you can see this is what you need to do so first of all you need to read the rules and then you need to come down and click this become a bug hunter so uh, if you do that first, what you need to do first of all is click and read the rules. So you can see this is the rule. So you just want to read through these rules. There's about um, six on there. So you just want to read through the rules quickly. All right. So once that's all done, what you can do is come and click onto the getting started option, which over here on the left hand side. And it's just going to go through a quick run through of what you need to do to become a bug hunter. So it's just a couple of things you need to do. It doesn't automatically put you as a bug hunter. So the first thing you need to do is actually, as you can see, it tells you step by step the instructions. So the first thing you need to do is come to this bot here, which is called uh, debug. And then what you need to do is put a exclamation mark and 10 quiz. And it's going to send you a quick quiz to put out which they basically do to make sure you, you can do, do the bug hunting okay. Uh, once you've done that, you can see the next step, you need to DM role list to debug. And what's going to happen, you'll get available roles. So you can choose, for example, iOS, um, Android, or PC or laptop. So obviously this all depends on what device you're going to be using to do the bug hunting. And once you've done that, what, what's going to happen is you basically get access to a server called Canary which is kind of like a um, server where they release stuff where you can sort of test it and look for bugs and report it before it goes live the rest of Discord. And what, what happens eventually is when you've reported multiple bugs and you've you know got them approved and you're at an active member with, within the community, what, what's going to happen is you get something called a bug tracker role. Uh, and to get a golden badge, you need to become something called a bug terminator, which does take a while. Um, sometimes it takes a couple of months, but eventually you'll get a badge, which it looks like this, this kind of like green net. And that's going to be added to your name. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you become a bug hunter. Um, so if you just go through, obviously read the rules first, join the, join the invite, uh, read the rules first. And then come down, click the getting started information over here. And then just go ahead and follow the steps to become a bug hunter. As I say, you don't get a badge straight away. It does take a couple of months after you've actually reported multiple bugs and have got them improved. Make sure you're active as well, quite active within the community. Um, there's other things on here you can read as well, bug hunting information. So this is more like um, a kind of FAQ. It's kind of like answers for questions you might have. So you can go through and have a look and read through these. And there's also a resources. Uh, so this is for like language support. So if it's a different language you're wanting, something like that, um, or things about um, which bugs you can report, where you can, where to download Canary, which is the kind of beta version where they test new features out before it's released to the public and things like that. But yeah, so I hope you did find that helpful. And if that did help, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.